Now we're here today uh, in uh, Minden, uh, G, G Bendy, Nevada, uh, and talking about the Essential Insight dot mesh. And today I've got uh, Billy Gillison here. He's the FAE, a field application engineer, and he travels uh, in the, the western region to a number of sites and, and has had uh, a good uh, overview of, of what uh, the Essential Insight mesh product is capable. And also, as as we are launching the ISA. Uh, 100 version as of the 30th of April. Uh, we want to talk a bit more about uh, the product. Welcome, Billy. Thanks. Um, question up front here with, with, with the wireless. Why would, why would a customer want to buy a uh, wireless product? Well, uh, the main uh, advantage of, of the wireless is when you have uh, assets, machines, you know, motor pumps, balance of plant equipment that uh, you'd like to get some data on, but it's either from a safety aspect or a difficulty or cost aspect of running wiring to get, you know, cabling to get that data off of it. Uh, this is a, a nice area where the wireless fits in. Uh, this system is a, is a nice niche there uh, 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 and handles that, that job pretty, pretty well and, and, and cost effectively. Okay, and cost effectively um, with regard to, because it's wireless, it doesn't take cables. Correct. So we're not, you're not running cables across the facility. Yes. Um, and yeah. having to do other than conduit or, or that. So, so there's, there's definitely savings, obviously. Uh, yeah, it, the cost, say, in a refinery can be quite substantial. And there's certain assets, cooling towers and things where there's heat and uh, height and different issues that uh, actually it's quite, you don't want to send a, a person up there if you can. So safety, 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 safety yes. would be yes. a driver for safety in that. Yes. So from, from a, um, a data collection standpoint, I mean, what type of data do we get from uh, the Essential Insight Mesh product? The, the, uh, the, the wireless signal interface module, which is the double w SIM, is a four-channel device. Uh, so we have four channels. It can uh, take a acceleration, a vibration signal, uh, or temperature in e one uh, either of the four channels. So all, all four channels could be either be temperature or vibration. Uh, it's a, either acceleration with enveloping, mid-level acceleration, or low frequency. Uh, and it can be mixed and matched. Okay. Mm -hmm. So from, from here you see um, that uh, from data rates and that, what kind of data rates are we looking at uh, on the Essential Insight Mesh? Be, because this runs on a lithium battery, which we you know, want to try to get the maximum life out of, out of it, uh, we recommend for static data, which would be the overall level, uh, uh, taking that every two hours and then taking a waveform, which is the, the dynamic data, uh, once a day. Uh, now, the nice thing with this feature, which goes into System 1, uh, you can also uh, take a, a waveform on demand. So you can actually go in and request a waveform, but it's going to take one once a day. So static data every two hours and a waveform once a day. So and then with the amount of data you're getting on the static, you can also get alarms and alerts from System 1 that can, can bring back. So instead of you going out once a month and taking a, a SCART 100 or 140, um, and, and just taking that data. Correct, and that's why we, we say this doesn't replace portal but data collection collectors like the, the Scout 100, the 140. It really enhances them because with uh, the System 1, you can actually have four levels of, of uh, asset management alarms, which are software alarms, that you can get early indications of problems and look at the data that's in there from the Essential Onsite dot mesh, and then, then you can use your portable data collector like the Scout 100 to go out and use it and kind of optimize optimize its use. Okay. Um, now, they've spoken about things like mesh network. This works on a mesh uh, mesh network, and, and we have this device here. And, and explain why what this this device is this with no with no connections on it. Okay, uh, the four channel WSIM, as you saw, could take four four channels in vibration or temperature or any combination. Uh, it acts as a repeater as well, so it's bringing in the vibration or temperature, but is also a a repeater in this mesh network. But for example, as you're building the network, if you need more. Uh, uh, capability or more distance in the network, we also have a, a just a repeater which doesn't have any channel inputs and it's a little lower cost so that would help to expand uh, the mesh network. Okay, mm -hmm. and then having a mesh network instead of having line of sight, just one one point to one point, has some advantages, correct? Uh, correct, because when you when you say wireless, generally the first thing that comes to mind is uh, people think of uh, reliability and they think of security. So with a mesh network, uh, instead of having just a single line, you know, 
uh, A to B, you have multiple paths so that if you, if you have a hardware failure or you have some interference, you still have data communication, so it's more robust. Uh, and this uh, mesh network is also self-forming, self-healing, so it's quite, there's intelligence there, and it, 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 the data availability uh, is quite high, and the security is built into the, the, the protocol. Okay, and if we, um, uh, we're launching this as an ISA version, Correct. compared to what we had last year, so we, we're now releasing the ISA 100. Um, tell us a bit about why a customer would want an ISA 100 version. Well, the, the ISA 100, again, is, is, a, is a, like a standard. You know, vendors will, will, if they adhere to this standard, then, then different devices from different vendors can use the same infrastructure. So okay. uh, it just enables, uh, so you don't have to have a network for one device and another network. So it just, it just uh, is more efficient type of use of, of infrastructure. Okay, so, so all coming through the mesh network, you can bring in different, different, d different uh, uh, readings, pressures Cur or temperatures, yeah, and that I say 100. Correct, it, yes. And all compatible. Back to um, what we spoke about with the battery. Um, what type of life last time we got the battery on yeah this? I meant to mention that so with those uh, with those uh, data collection rates of two hours uh, for static data uh, one uh, day for dynamic the the typical battery use would be three to five years okay. so that means you know three to five years uh, expected battery life with those rates and these batteries uh, are rated down to zone zero so these can be used in hazardous areas refineries that type of thing and actually there's uh, like uh, six hex screws where you can actually change that battery actually right in the area. You don't need to, to get a permit or, or anything like that. So you can actually change it right in the, in the hazardous area. So maintenance in the field, you don't have to disconnect everything and then take it out of the hazardous area. You can actually go in because it's rated. Correct. Change that battery out and, and put a new battery on it. If, if a customer wanted to up the rates of data, um, obviously that has a direct effect on battery uh, consumption. Correct. So we can up the rates. Uh, we have some standards in there we can, we can change and adjust. Yeah, for, so for example, example, you, you had a machine that, this would be like an exception, all right? Okay. So normally two hours, you know, static data works. But per, perhaps you have a machine that is kind of, uh, there's something going on with it, you'd like to get it faster. You can do that. You can adjust it to a faster data rate. Now, what that, the trade-off will be, you'll have reduced battery. Okay. And we have actually some screens that will help us to show you what what effect of increasing that speed. Well, that's, that's, that's really good, really, really knowledgeable. Uh, thank you for that information. Um, I just want to thank uh, Billy for coming in today and, and spending some time with us and, and talking about the product. Uh, if you have any questions, a local representative can, can get hold of you. And um, we can uh, we can bring a, bring a, 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 a WSIM or essential insight dot mesh product out to your facility and, uh, and and do a demonstration for you. And really thank you for your time and I appreciate, uh, thank you Billy for coming in. Okay, thanks Kevin.